It is time to finish welding up these holes in this case. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to use some chunks out of the back half of the case to fill in this hole here. So instead of doing a bunch of talking, I'll just uh, take pictures as I work this along and put them all together into a video. One thing I did do, I had read that uh, welding magnesium to aluminum was a no-go, and it is a no-go. I wanted to try it for myself, welded a couple of pieces together, and while it looked like a fairly good weld, it had no strength to it whatsoever. You just grab the two pieces, you could rip them apart, it just, just the weld just fell apart. Just like crystallized where it was, uh, the two different metals flowed together and it just popped apart by hand. So that, that is a no-go on welding aluminum to magnesium. So this is the way to do it, using chunks out of the case so it is the exact same alloy. Should work just great. One last thing I wanted to mention before I started welding on this is, saw in the other videos I had some pitting, some little impurities where I was welding onto the casting. Well, here is a chunk of the casting just as is. And you can see it's got the same uh, little pits, contamination, whatever, in the base metal just from the casting process. Not horrible, but it is all through it. So I'm certainly not worried about a few little pits where I welded it, since it's not a structural piece anyway. Considering that everything I'm working with here is a nasty old casting, uh, everything except for the filler rod itself, I don't think that's coming out too bad. That's going to be a nice uh, surface to bolt to when I put the back plate on. So it should work out good. Needed to weld up those two holes. So I just cut some uh, rod up, poked in the hole as a filler. We'll see how that works out. That worked good to fill in those holes. I needed to build up that corner a little bit because there's a bolt that goes in there. Now I'm going to start trimming this down and see what it looks like. Well, I am very pleased with the way this turned out. There's the fill plate in the side. The holes there where the other case studs or the other cylinder studs. They're plugged up. Got a nice smooth surface in the back. I filled in the area here where the other push rod tubes went because we need to put a screw there. Plenty of material to bolt into right along there. Here's what it looks like with the two case halves together. The thing looks really good. That should be pretty much all the welding unless I I don't know that I have to weld anything on this. I know I need to make a new plate to go on the for the oiling system. And I may weld this up. I think they use this hole for the oil fill. So I might have to do a little welding there, but the main part is complete. So next step, we'll be cutting the plate to go on the back. I've got modifications due to the oiling system. Uh, plugging the oil holes on the back. Still got lots to do, but that was the, getting this welded up to this stage was the part that had me a little worried. Well, not really worried. I just knew that that was going to be a difficult piece of it. Welding the head, since they're aluminum, should be a breeze. So that's all for today. Like and subscribe if you would. I appreciate it a bunch. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.